<sighs> that was close. Hello my fellow Aurors, this is your Aurors Sly here and welcome back to the Aur Division. A wizarding community of lore keepers, artifacts, discoveries and dangerous curiosities. Are you just now apparating to this channel? Quit being a muggle and subscribe down below and stupefy the notification to alert the ministry you want the owls to keep you in the loop about everything in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. In this video, I'm going to analyze the Slytherin common room from Hogwarts Legacy, the open world Wizarding World RPG that will be released on February the 10th, 2023. Where are my Slytherin people? Come on! As we begin this analysis on this scene, we see the tapestry with a wizard depicted on it. Can't really see his name as it's been cut from a shot. And I'm already digging this common room's vibe because it is very loyal to the books. It is written that the Slytherin common room is covered by tapestries portraying different medieval Slytherin wizards and witches that were famous. Down below the first tapestry we spotted, we see the Slytherin notice board, with a Slytherin pride flag hanging from it. It is important to know that it is on this notice board that the Slytherin common room password is posted when it changes. And by the way, it changes quite a bit, every two weeks or so. Over to the right, you can see the famous couch where Harry and Ron would sit after taking the Polish's potion to talk to Draco about the Chamber of Secrets in later years. I liked it at the captain from the movies as a way for us to identify with this common room. On the fireplace, you see some super cool details. Some intertwined snakes that strengthens this room's aesthetics. However, the portrayal of these snakes is a bit different than how the book describes the fireplace. It is written that there is a snake above the fireplace with bright emerald green eyes. So a bit different there, but I can see snakes, so I'm happy. Above the snakes, you can also see this stained glass that depicts the letter S. You can also spot snake carvings on the stone face of the fireplace. You can also see the crazy number of skulls placed all over the common room. The Slytherin common room is located in the dungeons of Hogwarts, and you can clearly see the rugged and crude shape of the stone walls. You can also see that there is a glass dome atop the ceiling reflect a greenish hue that comes from the Black Lake above. One of the coolest things about the Slytherin common room is that it's located under the Black Lake. There are two more tapestries that are visible on this trailer. On the left, we see a witch named Emily. This tapestry is portrayed with a dragon or some sort of wyvern above her. And on the right side, a wizard named Howard. No idea who these people are, they're probably original from the game, but who knows. You can also spot two doors, one on the right and the other one on the left, probably leading to the girls' and boys' dormitories, and an interactive armillary globe, an item that is present in every single common room. As we proceed down the hallway, we can see a grand staircase and a statue of Salazar Slithering in its center focus. We'll talk more about this statue soon. Adorning the walls, we see some portraits that repeat quite a bit in other common rooms also. I think these might be filler items and I don't know if they'll change that in the final version of the game. In the scene, we can see the very tall windows that face the Black Lake itself. Recently, Hogwarts Legacy posted a cover art for the art and making of Hogwarts Legacy, and we can clearly spot the tentacles of the famous giant squid from the lake. Are we going to be able to see it? Or mess with more people in grinding lows? Huh. Maybe we can use this sort of telescope to spot places and beasts in the Black Lake. That would be a cool interactive addition, I gotta say. You can also spot some algae details on the glass, and I spotted something very interesting on the circular windows above. They depict the face of a snake looking outside into the lake. Some more skeletons of beasts, and I hope they identify these skeletons in the game so we can know what they actually are. In the center of this large circular room, you can see another interesting beast, representing people. A dried up fetus? Let me know what you guys think down below, because I have no idea what this actually is. It, it is kind of bizarre though, even for me. In the scene, we see the Avatar arriving at the Slytherin common room in the dungeons, wearing the special house robe that you can get if you link your Hogwarts Legacy WB account with your Wizarding World account. Now, as the Avatar approaches, you can see some snakes holding up the braziers and some snake and scale patterns on the floor, indicating the location of the common room. 
Now, this is my favorite animation of all common rooms. As the avatar approaches, a snake that was previously hidden on the ground rises and reveals the slithering common room door. This is a brand new addition that was never seen on the books. But this is now canon in my world, so that's it. As the door is revealed, you also see a bunch of intertwined snakes everywhere. The snakes meet on the top and they face each other forming an S on the bottom. The initials of Salazar slithering himself. This exact design is also shown on the doors during the Sebastian Salo's companion's side quest, which makes us believe that this quest is definitely something to do with Salazar slithering himself. You can see another skeleton here of some sort of large bird or animal without arms. You can also see the wizard's chest, a probable interactive item that we'll probably be able to play with. That's a lot of probabilities. You can also see the queen is about to finish the game with a checkmate. This is a super cool animation and interesting addition. As the avatar passes by this closet, we can spot a crystal ball, some masks, and what looks to be a bottle of Skelligro. Once again, we see Emily's tapestry and a skull of an animal atop this table, in a long corridor that probably leads to many more rooms. This common room is huge and it must be the biggest one so far. Here we approach the statue of Salazar Slithering himself, holding a skull in one hand and a snake scepter on the other. Now it is important to note that in the books it is mentioned that we can see the portrait of Salazar Slithering in this room and not a statue. So it seems like Avalanche changed this detail, but I like it quite a bit, I dig it. Also take a quick look at the handrails or banisters, they are in the shape of snakes. And I just want to point it out there that I want that in my house. In this scene, we see two books flying along with more repetitive portraits, another skeleton display, and something else that caught my attention. Crest of an eagle or maybe a phoenix? Why would something like this be at the Slithering Common Room? Here on this tapestry, we see a new famous witch with some type of dog next to her. Also, as we observe closer on the wall, we see this type of crown molding that resembles a snake. Now I confess, this area is as beautiful as it is curious. It looks like this is the Slithering Common Room's exit, and we can see some type of waterfall effect in a creature that looks like a Zou. Remember that super cool feline creature from the Fantastic Beasts movies? But I can't connect the dots as to why. But I trust Avalanche and I think this is here for a reason. Either way, really cool detail. And here we have the last scene of this trailer where we see the avatar overlooking the entirety of the common room. And this shot really confirms the massive size of this place. Look, all of the common rooms look absolutely amazing. They all have their interesting designs and features that demonstrate house pride in its respective mood. Regardless of what house you choose, you're in for a treat no matter what. So up next, I'll be reviewing the Hufflepuff common room, so make sure you have subscribed and hit the notification bell to watch it as soon as it gets released. Do you want more Hogwarts Legacy content? Don't worry, more content this way comes. And if you have any questions about the Wizarding World's lore, artifacts discoveries and dangerous curiosities, please leave a comment down below. Also, stop being a muggle and go like, subscribe and stupefy the bell notification to alert the ministry you want more content. Thank you so much for being part of the R Division community, but until next time, mischief managed.